I am really surprised this movie was not made a long time ago. Like you would think this is a movie you would watch like in the early 2000s or even maybe early 1990s, but no, we're in the year 2018 and a movie like this is made now. And after seeing it, oh boy, am I glad it was made. Hello there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, I'm here to do a movie review, and that movie review I'm going to be doing is for a movie titled Game Night, yeah, shit's about to get real. So Game Night is directed by John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein who are the same directors of Vacation and the same writers for last year's Spider-Man Homecoming and the film stars Jason Bateman, Rachel McAdams, Jesse Plemons, Billy Magnuson and many more. So Game Night tells the story of these group of people that get together for Game Night pretty much every Friday night but then Jason Bateman's brother comes into town and he has the idea of turning Game Night into a real-life mystery. However, Kyle Chandler gets into a real situation, and now this group of people have to decide what is fake and what is real as they are playing Game Night. So going into Game Night, this is a film I was very much looking forward to because when I watched the trailer for this film, the very first trailer that dropped on Online. I watched it and I automatically went sign me up like that trailer for game night is one of the better comedy trailers I've seen in a while because now these days comedy trailers they're not that good at least in my opinion but game night actually really impressed me and I have to say after seeing game night I had a lot of fun with this film this is exactly what that trailer promised and that's really rare to be honest when it comes to marketing a comedy film but when it comes to how the trailer marketed this film it was honestly exactly how it was promised and that right there I have to give the marketing team a lot of credit for. The writer of this film is Mark Pettis and I thought Mark Pettis did a very good job writing this film. It was so clever like this is a really really clever film and to see these group of people come together uh, for game night and to see them try to solve the mystery and how to decide what's real and what's fake that was handled so well the comedic timing was so on point with game night there were so many moments where I was just laughing with this film it is so consistent and yes just like with any comedy it could have its humor where it doesn't land I, honestly, even when the humor didn't land, that wasn't really a problem with me because the humor that worked easily overweighs the humor that may have not quite as worked. But still, this movie was a real blast and I really love the cast in this film. Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams. I never thought I would see these two as a duo in the film, but honestly, I am so glad that they were casted because these two work so well together. They have very great chemistry. Not to mention, I actually thought they were cute. And I really did like how in the beginning of this film, we see how they met when they got married. I like how we got a little bit of a montage when this film opened up. That was actually very cool. And I thought it was actually a very endearing way to open up a comedy film like Game Night. And these two look like they were having a lot of fun. Jason Bateman, he's, you know Jason Bateman, but he's really good here. Rachel McAdams, it is so nice to see her in a comedy film, however, because if I am wrong, you can correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I believe the last time Rachel McAdams did a comedy film was Mean Girls, and that was how many years ago? It was a long time. So to see Rachel McAdams do a comedy film again was so refreshing. Rachel McAdams just got really lost in this role. You could really tell that she was having a ton of fun and that's always awesome to see when an actor that does a lot of dramatic roles can do a comedy role and just have a ton of fun. I haven't seen Rachel McAdams have so much fun in the film in a long time and it was just really cool to see because Rachel McAdams is personally one of my favorite actresses. Kyle Chandler too, I really liked here. 
actor because similar to Rachel McAdams, he's known for doing more dramatic roles, but it was really cool to see him get a little more loose and just have fun in his role as Jason Bateman's brother. And I liked what they did with his role. I really don't want to talk much about it because where they take his role is definitely really interesting, but I did really like him here. And I actually enjoyed the other characters, not only from Jason Bateman's character, Rachel McAdams to Kyle Chandler, but I also really enjoyed Billy Magnuson. He was really funny. He's the not so bright person in the group and I thought he really nailed that character. He was so entertaining. He definitely has some of the funniest lines in the film and he's not one of those oh goodness this guy like he's not one of those dumb characters that you get annoyed and roll your eyes over. He's one of those dumb characters that you actually enjoy watching. He actually has a nice screen presence to him so he was definitely a lot of fun to watch. I also did enjoy Sharon Horgan, she was really enjoyable. La Morris Morrison from New Girl is in here. I had a lot of fun watching him here. He was also really good. And I will say Kylie Bunbury was also really enjoyable in this film. I thought all of the couples in this film were actually really entertaining and really enjoyable. And I thought all of them had a nice wide variety of different personalities, which is always cool to do. And the one person that I have to bring up, because it would be a crime if I forgot to bring him up, is Jesse Plemons. Jesse Plemons plays this neighbor and he just gives this very creepy stare and talks all creepy while he pets his dog. And every scene he is in, he eats it up. He might be the show stealer. It's either him or Rachel McAdams, honestly. Everyone is great in this film. Like, performances are on point. But I think it's either between Rachel McAdams or Jesse Plemons for me because, man, Jesse Plemons was so funny here. And considering this is the guy from Breaking Bad, a show I loved watching, and to see him be in this film was so cool. And you kind of feel bad for the guy at points. I won't spoil why, but you do even feel kind of bad for the guy at points too. John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein, who directed Vacation and wrote Spider-Man Homecoming, they directed this film. They didn't write it, but they directed this film. And when it comes to the direction, this is some of the most impressive direction I've seen a comedy film in quite some time. Game Night has a really cool style that you don't really see in a lot of comedies, but the style that they add in this film definitely makes it quite unique and I really appreciate that. Not to mention the score from Cliff Martinez and if that name sounds familiar to you he also did the score for Drive. So to think that the music composer for Drive also composed the music for Game Night, Game Night a comedy film is insane and it never felt out of place. I thought the score sounded tremendous and the camera work that they used in this film really was so impressive. You'll, you'll even get these one take shots which is always cool to see. Not only did the cast have a ton of fun on screen, it's really obvious that they were having a blast, but you could tell there was a lot of care behind the camera. There's a lot of care uh, when it comes to the script and uh, it just makes this film just so enjoyable and just so highly entertaining. The action is very entertaining as well. It's actually very exciting at points with the action. It's not one of those things where it's like choppily edited like you'll see in comedy films sometimes. It's actually very well edited. It's very well paced. It's really exhilarating. And there's even twists and turns in this film that might actually surprise you. I know the twists and turns actually surprised me as I was watching this film and that's really good. And the third act, while well, yes, a little more crazier, I, didn't, I wasn't really bothered by that personally though. I did have a ton of fun with the third act and it still made me laugh a lot. As far as flaws go, this is not a film I have a whole ton of flaws with. This is a film I had a lot of fun with. I think this is simply a solid film, but I don't really have a lot of issues with it. All I could say as far as flaws goes is that the humor doesn't work once in a while. Um, I think the first 10 minutes after that sweet little montage with Rachel McAdams and Jason Bateman, it was a little bit rough, 
um, after that section, but the movie eventually picked up its footing, so it didn't take that long for the film to find its footing, I would say that. And I think there's maybe one point, maybe just one point, where I did feel the pacing just drag a bit, but even then the film eventually found a way to pick itself back up. That's all I have to say for flaws, honestly. So overall, as I just said right now, Game Night is a very solid and very entertaining comedy film. It lived up to its brilliant premise. I am so glad it's not one of those movies that wasted its premise. It actually lives up to its premise. It does a lot with a cool concept like this. Just seeing these people out uh, playing game night, uh, solving this mystery, figuring out what's real, what's fake, and seeing them get in these crazy shenanigans, especially when you get to that third act. Man, does it re get really crazy. Jason Bateman, Rachel McAdams, everyone else is really great here. It's just a ton of fun. It's very thrilling at points. There's even twists and turns that were very creative. It's not only just a funny film, but it's very creative. Like, it's honestly impressive how creative writer Mark Pettis got with his writing and how creative it was direction-wise by John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein. I'm going to give Game Night 3 out of 4 stars. I had a lot of fun watching it. It's so funny. It's so entertaining. Definitely a film that I could say I had a really good time watching. So everybody, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Game Night? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!